Today on CJ Off-Road, we're going to show you how to light up the back of your Jeep. Making your Jeep visible at night can be really great to both yourself and the people following behind you. So today we're looking at this Rugged Ridge 39 inch lighted whip, including the bracket fitting your 2007 to 2018 Jeep Wrangler. The multicolored LED whip features a sturdy reinforced frosted polycarbonate tube and the included bracket to get everything you need to mount it up on the back of your Jeep. The RGB LED lights feature 20 preset color variations and a remote, meaning you can turn it on and off from outside of the vehicle. The LED lifespan of 50,000 hours is going to be way longer than you'll need it. It features a durable powder coated bracket, so let's get it installed in our 2008 Jeep Wrangler. Tools needed for this installation, a 3 8 inch ratchet, 13 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter box wrench, 20 millimeter box wrench, and a 22 millimeter box wrench. We're ready to install our lighted CB whip and the antenna bracket. We're at the back of our Jeep and as you can see we don't have a stock spare wheel and tire. We actually have the control backside plate but it'll still work for this application. If you had a spare wheel and tire on the back just pull the wheel and tire off and you'll get started the same way we do. To get started on this if you have a factory wheel and tire you're only going to need to remove these two bolts right here. Since we have the backside plate we'll remove these four that go around the outside and then this top bolt that way we can get at it a little bit easier. Now a little word of advice, we already do have ours wired up, it's pretty simple actually. Just run through the inner vent here and then run it however you'd like. You can run it into the running lights on your tail lights or as we're going to do it, run it to our trigger, that way we can turn it on and off besides having just the remote. So like I said, pretty easy to wire up, I'm not going to show you that but we'll show you what it looks like at the end. Now we're going to remove this top one right here. And then you're ready to install the new CB antenna bracket on the back. So you can use the included hardware with the Rugged Ridge kit. This makes the bolts a little bit longer. That way you can have a little bit more bite when you put on this new antenna bracket. We also found that the factory bolts work and in our application with the control backside, we're going to use the factory bolts, make it a little bit easier. I'm going to start with this top one here and tighten that down just snug. That way we can still slip the bracket underneath here and tighten that one down. Then we'll put the rest of our bolts back in. Because we do have the control backside plate, getting to this bolt is a little bit tougher, so we'll have to use a box wrench to get to it. If you had a standard spare tire, you just use a 13 millimeter socket. Make sure that's nice and tight, then we're ready to install the new whip. We're going to put the whip on our new antenna bracket. We already have the nut, the washer, and the lock washer unbolted. You can either choose between the inner bolt hole or the outer one here. We're going to use the outer and then run our wiring. Put the washer on first, then the lock washer, then your 22 millimeter nut. We're going to plug in our wiring and then we can get it tightened down. I really like this wiring too from Rugged Ridge. You can tighten this threaded nut onto here and it really makes a secure watertight connection. We'll tuck it behind there for now so we can find a nice spot for it. Then let's get this tightened down. One of the nice things about this whip is actually it's a two piece here. So you can unthread it and pull it off in case you don't want it on and that alleviates a lot of worry of breaking this out on the trail. We're going to tighten it up, get our wiring connected. Rugged Ridge even includes a little flag here. That way if you're out in the dunes or something, let people see where you're at. Simply slides right over the top. It gives you a nice little emblem there. As I said before, we're not going to show you how to wire this up. We simply ran it to our trigger system and only took a positive and a negative terminal. Now we're going to show you how this thing lights up with the click of a button.
The installation of our new RGB Rugged Ridge Whip is complete and it looks really great, super sturdy, and the installation was really simple. It only requires a few hand tools and a little bit of wiring. Now you can find this whip as well as many other great parts for your JK right here at cjponyparts.com.